This is a quick overview of LiveBinder's collaboration. If I want to collaborate on a binder like the Six Traits Writing Program, I click on Options, then click on Collaborate. Now I'll see this menu to the right here. Now you need to know the names, the usernames, the LiveBinder's usernames of the people that you want to collaborate with. I do know my username. I want to collaborate with Jerry, and his username is Jerry West. Now, if I wanted to collaborate with more than one person, I would just put a comma in here and add more usernames. I'm just going to do one for today. I click on Add, and I see Jerry's name down here under Collaborators for Binder. So then, if I scroll down a little bit, you, I can email Jerry to let him know that I've made him a collaborator on my Binder. Now what I'm going to do is log in as Jerry so that you can see what it looks like from his perspective. So here's Jerry's shelf. And you can see the Six Traits Writing Program is right here. Now Jerry can click on this and edit it just like any other binder. The one thing he can't do is change the properties. Only the binder author can change the properties. But he can add text, he can insert media, add tabs and subtabs, and upload files. He can also use LiveBinder it to add to this binder. So if he's browsing the web and he finds a page that he wants to add to that binder, he clicks on LiveBinder it. And you can see his list of binders here, but you can also see the binders that have been shared with him. So he can click on the Six Traits Writing Program and add it to that binder. Now while I was doing this, I left that binder open. So let's go back to that binder and you can see there's a message that says the binder's been updated. If I click on OK, it'll reload and that new tab will be added to that binder. So let's go back to Jerry's shelf. Under the My Binders tab, you'll see a pull-down menu. And here Jerry can see the binders that he has shared with others. He can also see binders that have been shared with him. Now if he wanted to delete a collaborator from one of his binders, he'd go to the binder, click on the options, click on collaborate, and we have this menu again. And you can see there's two collaborators on this binder. We're going to remove Ms. North. So then we just click on delete. And you'll see Ms. North was removed from the collaborators for the binder. So that's it. Collaboration works great if you want to build resources together with other educators, or have students do projects together, or have teachers and students collaborate on binders together. Thanks for listening.